I'm Dr. Bob McGrew from Cornerstone Family Medical Group in Modesto. This video segment on the Pneumovax pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine is part of a series of videos giving information on commonly recommended immunizations. This video is intended to supply general information. For specific decisions about your health, you should always talk with your personal doctor. In the U.S., Vaccines have reduced the frequency of many infectious diseases that once routinely killed or harmed lots of children and adults. An excellent example of this is the greatly reduced number of people who have gotten infections around the brain, also called meningitis, and in the bloodstream, also called sepsis or bacteremia, from the pneumococcal bacteria. These kinds of infections are called invasive pneumococcal infections and are often deadly. Bloodstream infections kill about one in five people who get them, and meningitis about three people in 10. In our practice at Cornerstone, we've had many people suffer from and even die from these infections. Invasive pneumococcal infection frequently comes on after one to five days of viral influenza have already weakened your body. Influenza, also called the flu, is not the same as the common cold, but rather it's a severe viral infection of the bronchial tubes, which can cause fever at 103 degrees, a bad cough, terrible headache, body aches, and fatigue on its own. If the pneumococcal bacteria attack you while you're trying to fight off influenza, then it's especially serious and potentially deadly. The affected person can wind up in the intensive care unit, the ICU, of the hospital quite quickly with symptoms like headache and confusion or high fever, weakness, and low blood pressure. That's a strong reason to make sure that you and your loved ones also receive the flu vaccine each year in the fall season. While anyone can get invasive pneumococcal disease, some are particularly vulnerable. That includes people 65 years of age and older, smokers, people with lung and heart problems, as well as people with weakened immune systems. Additionally, antibiotic treatment against these bacterial germs is not as effective as it once was. This means prevention of the disease through vaccination is more important now than it ever has been. And that's why I'd like to tell you about the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine, which can help reduce your chances of becoming seriously ill with invasive pneumococcal disease. This vaccine is also called PPSV23, or the Pneumovax vaccine, which is its brand name. It turns out that pneumococcal bacteria have many subtypes, all slightly different. Your body needs to make a specific type of immunity against each subtype to reduce the chance of getting invasive infection. The vaccine we currently use, the PPSV23, contains purified components of the cell walls of 23 of these subtypes, the ones that cause most of the deadly disease in the United States. Most healthy adults who get the vaccine develop protection to many or all of these types within two to three weeks of getting the vaccine, which is usually given as a shot in the arm. Very elderly people, children under two years of age, and people with certain long-term illnesses may not respond as well or at all. Another type of pneumococcal vaccine called pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, or PCV13, is part of the childhood immunization schedule since it works well for kids under two. Now let's review again who should get this vaccine. All adults 65 years or more of age should have this protection since aging makes us more vulnerable to invasive pneumococcal disease. There are also reasons for people aged two through 64 years to receive the vaccine, such as having a long-term health problem such as heart disease, asthma, diabetes, cigarette smoking, emphysema, alcoholism, or liver cirrhosis. Also, you should receive this protection if you have a condition that lowers the body's resistance to infection, 
such as Hodgkin's disease or other types of blood cell cancer, kidney failure, HIV infection, a damaged spleen, or an organ transplant, such as a kidney transplant. If your immune system is not working as well as it should because of treatments that lower the body's resistance to infection, you would also benefit. This is caused by such treatments as taking long-term steroids, like prednisone, also by certain cancer drugs, and also by having radiation therapy for cancer. That's a lot of reasons for getting the protection of this vaccine. Some people may benefit from a booster dose of the vaccine five years after the first one. Ask your doctor if you need that. Some people should not get the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine or should wait a while before receiving it. If you have a fever and feel quite ill when scheduled to receive the vaccine, then you should wait a while until you feel better. However, if you just have a mild illness, you can usually be vaccinated. The risk of having a life-threatening reaction to this vaccine is extremely small, but anyone who feels that they may have had such a reaction to the vaccine or any of its components should not receive the vaccine again. Women who think that they may be pregnant should consult a physician before receiving the vaccine. About half of people who get this vaccine have mild side effects such as redness or pain where the shot is given. This results from the immune system starting to respond to the vaccine. Less than 1% of people develop a fever, body aches, or a large reaction to the vaccine. Interestingly, I was actually one of the people who got a large local reaction, one of the less than 1%, with some redness, heat, and swelling involving my upper left arm for about three days. However, I was actually happy about that since I was going to South America on a medical mission trip. I figured that I would benefit from a strong immune system reaction to the vaccine since I was going to be exposed to ill people in Peru. You can review the information from this video when you read the vaccine information statement that we give you each time your child or yourself is vaccinated. These statements, as well as much of the information and images for this video, were taken from the website of the CDC at cdc.gov slash vaccines. The mission of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control in Atlanta, is to save lives and protect people. Another website with excellent information is that of the Immunization Action Coalition at vaccineinformation.org. Invasive pneumococcal infections can be very deadly. They can cause meningitis and bloodstream septic infections in particular. Since the introduction of the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine, there has been a way to reduce your risk of getting this serious disease. That's good news. I hope that you'll protect yourself and your loved ones from this serious infectious disease. Mm -hmm.